coding made easy. So what's up everybody and uh, welcome to your next SFM, SFML 2.0 tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be learning about gravity. Now I always like to make a tutorial on gravity because um, like it's a cool topic a lot of people that are making platformers are going to need to know how to do this um and a lot of people overcomplicate it i know i i used to comp overcomplicate it uh, like when i used to uh, make platformers and stuff but it's, it's relatively easy and um you can always use like something like box 2d or use like a legitimate uh gravity formula or use um real physics and and have all that stuff in there but there's a extremely simple way to handle uh simple gravity and it looks um it, it's it looks pretty realistic it's, it's really it's really cool and um it might not be as realistic as you want it, it, like for somebody who's like a physics major somebody who is like who loves off physics but for somebody who just needs some basic physics or whatever in their game uh, or some basic gravity then um this tutorial is for you so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a constant um you know what we'll make it a float and we'll call it gravity because gravity is constant unless in your game you want to uh you don't want gravity to be constant it's up to you but gravity in our world is constant so we'll just make it a constant value so now we're going to make a vector to um f for velocity and uh one for position as well so um we will say that the position is at you know what the velocity will be zero and a position will copy from velocity okay so our, our velocity is zero and our pos position is um our position is is zero and you know what um hmm we i will Instead of having position, uh, we won't do that. I'll just make a rectangle shape and we'll just call it rect. And we'll say rect.set position and we'll just have it at, have it at zero, zero. Okay, so <clears throat> we, have our, we have our position set and just put in blue. And um, what we want to do is to activate some gravity. So we want it to fall from the top of the screen to a, a certain point on the screen. So for right now, we'll just set our ground height equal to um, 440. Okay, so that's our, that's our ground height. And we won't go past that, but we will be able to see the gravity going on. So what we're going to do with our velocity is... Um, we're going to say that um, if SF keyboard is key pressed, SF keyboard right, then we will set the velocity equal to our move speed. And we don't have anything for our move speed yet. Um, so I'll just say move speed is equal to one. And then we'll say else if SF keyboard is key pressed. So if they press the left key, then we'll set velocity X equal to negative move speed. And we'll say else if or actually we'll just make this an if if SF keyboard is key pressed and they press up then we will set velocity y equal to um, let's just say a negative jump speed so we'll go towards the top of the screen and we'll set jump speed equal to 5 okay or let's set to 10 or whatever 
so we we've set we've set our velocity um and um what we're gonna see why this is uh very important to have our velocity in there so easily before when we um said pr we press right or something what we did is that we said um x or like we said rec dot move a certain position and then we said rec dot move a certain direction so on and so forth right but we're gonna need velocity for a reason now whenever we jump we're not gonna fall if we fall at a constant rate it's not gonna look realistic if we fall down 10 pixels at a time it's not gonna look realistic what we want to do is that when we're falling we increase the velocity so we fall faster um the the longer we're in the air the faster that we start to fall down and you'll see this effect after. But what we're gonna do is just add an else there, and we're just gonna put zero right here. So what we're gonna say now is we'll say rect dot move, and um, we'll say velocity x velocity dot y. Okay. Now we'll say that if um, if rect dot get position dot y is less than our ground height so if it's in the air then we actually want to do something and we'll say that else then we'll say rect dot set position um our regular x position so we'll say rect get position dot x and our y will be the ground height subtract rect dot get size and dot y okay so we'll say if rec dot get position plus y plus rect dot get size dot y is greater than is less than ground height than whatever so we just want to check if the bottom of the player has touched the ground and if the bottom of the player has touched the ground or whatever then we just reset it so it's actually on the ground okay so if the player's position is above the ground which means we're in the air then we actually want to activate some um gravity right so what we're going to do is we're going to say velocity dot y plus equals gravity so this is what is going to happen so right now velocity let, let's let's just go through um how i program it so velocity y is equal to zero what's going to happen is that it's going to come here it's going to realize that it's less than ground height so we're going to say velocity y plus equals gravity so we're going to say um, it's going to be so velocity y is going to be equal to one. So once we get around to over here, right, our velocity, um, we're going to move down one pixel. Right. And then what's going to happen or like not one or well, whatever, we're going to move down one space. And then we're going to say velocity y plus equals gravity again. So velocity y is going to be equal to 2. So this time when it loops again, it's going to go down two spaces. And it's going to increase to 3. Then it's going to move down three spaces. So on and so forth. Right? And because of that, then we're going to fall at not at a constant rate, but at an increasing rate. And it also helps when we jump as well. So if we're on the ground, our velocity is equal to 10 or, or to zero. Sorry. When we jump, our velocity will be equal to negative 10. And then when we get to here, then it's going to increase to negative nine. We loop again. Then it will make it negative seven. Then I'll make it negative four. Then I'll make it zero and then so on and so forth until we reach the height of our jump and then we will increasingly fall down and that we will have our gravity in that manner. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch these around like so. And um, yeah, so that should be fine. So what I'm going to do is just draw the player. And let's see in an action okay so it's um hmm did it happen too fast nope we're not seeing anything on our screen so let's check to see what we did wrong
Okay, so two things I forgot to do. So in this else, just reset velocity y equal to zero right there. So it doesn't keep on increasing the velocity. So add that there. And secondly, we never set a size for our rectangle. And so I'll put SF vector to F and I'll put 20 by 20. And let me run this again. So as you can see, it drops down. Now when we press up, it should jump when we press up. Or maybe uh, the velocity, or did I set anything for jump speed? Yes, I did, and I said negative jump speed. So when they press up, this should run right here. So let's just see if this runs. So velocity y will be equal to that. And set a break point here. Okay, so the problem is that it's saying that um, because um, be because our this if statement is still false, it's resetting it our velocity y equal to zero right here. Um, so we'll just say or velocity dot y is less than zero or something like that. So let's run this one more time. So we never set a limit on it, right? So we never set a limit on how um, how long we can hold jump for. But as, we, as you can see, we uh, hold it for however long we need to, and we let go. It falls down at a, steady, um, at a steady rate. So it looks like we actually have gravity activated in our world. So um, that is it for this tutorial. Have fun with this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, let me know what you guys want to um, want me to teach you. If I think it would be valuable, then I will teach you guys. And, and yeah, so just comment below. Tell me what you guys want to learn. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And bye.